Hello. Today we're going to learn how to submit an assignment using the Dropbox function in Buzz. This is being done by Mrs. Pagilia, a sixth grade social studies teacher at Veracia Larry Middle School. This is intended for my sixth grade students use of the learning software Buzz. Any questions, follow up, there's my email. Okay. We have been working on our learning blog artifact assignment. You've been working through this, doing a wonderful job, watching the videos on how to do the steps. You learned how to set up folders. You learned how to find your artifact in our shared folder. And you've learned how to save it. You also have learned how to do a file, make a copy of a Google Doc that somebody else has made up for you to make a copy. And then you walk through the steps on how to create your blog account, set your privacy, and post your blog. All right, here we go. We're now going to learn how to submit the Dropbox function in Buzz. Here is your Dropbox, right down here at the very bottom. Okay. In Dropbox, what you would do is you say Show Dropbox. If the teacher wants you to submit a web address like I would like, this is where you put it. If not, I'll teach you also how to put it in this area, the comments area where you can type in as well. So first, I'm going to show you how to go to here. Open up your blogger, your learning blog. Up here is the web address, the URL. You need to select it all. There's a couple of ways to do that. Way number one, triple clip, sorry, trick, click three times and it will select it all. Okay, make it all blue. If that doesn't work, you can use a shift key, click at one end, click at the other, keep your shift key down and that will select it. Or the third is you use two fingers. One finger stays down, the other finger can drag it and select it. And finally, the way I love to select all is a keystroke called Control A. That just selects everything in that area. All right, first you highlight it. Now we have to copy. Okay, option one. If you are on a mouse or a computer, you could do what's called the right click. Where we're not on a mouse or a computer, you're gonna to have to do a right click method by doing control, sorry, alt, and click with your mouse button pad. And there's your drop down menu. Okay. Finally, the way I like to do it is a keystroke called Control C for copying. Very simple. It doesn't do anything fancy. You just clicked it. Okay. Leave your window open just in case if you didn't do it correctly. Come back to your buzz window. Drop down to the website address. Click in the box so the cursor is blinking like it shows right here. And paste it. Okay. Option one. Alt button and mouse button pad. And there's your paste. That's called the right click method. On a Chromebook, it's the alt and the mouse pad. Or the keystroke that I love as well is called control V. Control V will just paste it right in for you. Just as fast as it did the copy, it will paste it. And then I'm going to teach you how to insert a web address or within the document here. Okay, here is my blog. Okay, we want to insert a link. So I double clicked to open that up, I come over to the hyperlink that says the little double chains right there. 
It's called a hyperlink, or they just call it link for short. Now I'm going to paste in my URL. Since I haven't done anything else, there's a good chance that I still have it saved in my copy file. So I'm going to just do my good old command, sorry, I'm on my Mac. Okay, here's my blog. I double clicked, highlighted the word. That's what I want to make a link. Click there, control V. Like I said, I'm on a Mac, not a Chromebook. Why does it want to work? Okay, we'll do this. Maybe it wants it that way. Okay, it went this time. I don't know. Sometimes computers are just finicky. Regardless, I hyperlinked my link, my blog here. If you just pasted this without having it linked, hyperlinked, it will not open up and give me the finger, as I so say. Without the finger, you cannot open it to another window. Okay? So, once you've done that, you can hit submit. Now, you can see that is you have a piece of paper up here that means that you submitted something. It's waiting to be graded because it's not a quickly fix it here or there. I clicked my exclamation point or grade details and it will show it to you. As you see, here's what I linked it to the hyperlink. And here it is again, the hyperlink in there. Okay, so that is how you submit in a Dropbox. As you see down here, I could open it up and make sure it says I've already submitted. It does not allow resubmitting. Sometimes it will allow you to submit multiple times. So always be aware of the expectations of your teacher and how to do that. All right. Finally, a very enjoyable thing. I want you to get a chance to, in the blog page, I want you to get a chance to reflect by making a comment. I have some screen cast pictures and you're going to come down here and make a comment answering the question of explain one thing you like about social studies. Okay, thank you for watching.